Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Who will be this year's Grand Prix champion? Who will be our hero of heroes? Wait, are we still talking about the Grand Prix thing? Who will it be last year's runner-up, Jammin' Ninja? Or maybe Captain Saipan, all the way from the lovely tropical island of Senpai? Oh god, I see the students of a certain starry school and the global Onyankopon? God, okay. That dude needs a little more... <laughs> a little more to his uh, thong there. The fuck just happened? Steel Samurai? Whoa, the true hero of the night appears! There's no way he said that so quickly. <laughs> it looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to the Fantastic Warrior. This Fantastic Warrior. The Nickel Samurai! Looks like the title eluded you again this year. Too bad, Jammin' Ninja. <sighs> oh, Gatewater Hotel. Ooh, might see that butler again. Oh, right, yes, did you hear that, Nick? Did you, the Nickel Samurai, he did it. Why, that's such a bad name. Yeah, he sure did. I'm getting too old for this. Dude, you're 25, get over it. Uh, I'm proud for the, proud of the guy for doing the series justice. Um, um, so the person everyone was cheering for, I guess he got the prize? Yup. You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai. No, every Sunday I only watch the Educational Channel's Kids Masterpiece Theater. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. Man, let her watch what she wants to watch. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's an old fought, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. That's right. But I do like Kids Masterpiece Theater. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at hot, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act like your age and have an interest that match. Damn, Pearly. Judgy much? <laughs> it's very important. Oh, give it a rest, Pearly. Looks like I made it. Made the right choice in inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah, it's like a dream. Too bad for the jamming ninja, though. Last year he lost to the Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh, hey. She's like, I don't care. Did anyone else think that the Jammin' Ninja looked a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Hey, you're right. Strange you'd walk around without a signature guitar. I don't think that's strange at all. I'm sure that actually makes a lot of sense. I'll never understood these people, these people and their shows. Anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. Oh, it was nothing. I owe you one, so it's just my way of saying thanks. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Hey, Nick, come on. It's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post-ceremony stage show that's supposed to start real soon. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. Press conference? Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Um, well, not exactly. It's something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Nick, come on! You don't want us to be the last ones there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. I can't believe they're gonna make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either, but for a different reason. Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate in the city of Neo Old Tokyo. And last year they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seems to be a hit with the kids, too. I'm really dead to the Seal Samurai as a show, so I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd be awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt Ungard. Totally believable name. <laughs> He's super popular right now. That just must be his stage name, right? His real name is, like, Matthew Smith or some shit. Mr. Ungard? Looks like Pearls doesn't know who he is. This year it's going to be the Nickel Samurai versus the Jammin' Ninja at the box office. Jammin' Ninja? Who's that again? So who is this Jammin' Ninja again? 
He's a hero, duh. His symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying a run a bright red guitar? How does that even work? It doesn't work because that gives a if you're a ninja I don't I don't even need to explain that. Oh my god. First of all, okay. So not only is he incredibly conspicuous for a dude that's supposed to be like stealthy, I'm pretty sure his right eye can't see anything past that huge Christmas star that I guess is supposed to be a shuriken that's like over half his face. Yeah, Ninja becomes a star. There's a strong rivalry between the two of them, Global Studios, Nickel Samurai, and Worldwide Studios, Jam and Ninja. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. Well, they're competitors, I mean. The Nickel Samurai's on guard, and the guy who plays the Ninja Jammin', I mean. Ninja Jam- oh god, sorry. Mix Jammin' Ninja! The Nickel Samurai speaks French? Oh, you mean Matt on guard, the actor. God, Phoenix. I guess, uh, the world of heroes is in a sparkling happy place. Yeah, well, it's the world of showbiz, not heroes, but... Alright, let's go to the hallway. Wow, what is with this place? This looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Okay, so that's Matt on guard's room, and then this must be the Jam and Samurai room. Odd that he has so much more... very ugly things, but still so much more than this guy does. Hmm. Of course, they put them right next to each other. Oh, wait, no, I want to go to the bathroom. Sounds like the post-ceremony show is about to start. All right, I'm so pumped. I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today. Nickel Samurai smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. You mean the big confession that Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? Don't you know what it's about, Mr. Powers? Um, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. Sorry. Uh, so I guess you're all gonna go to the press conference then? Yeah, of course. That's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. You actually weren't gonna be able to get in at all without me giving this to you, so probably should have asked about that beforehand. Thank you very much. Let's keep going to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick! Okay, for great justice! 100% Maya. Hmm. Only a real gaudy hotel would have such a large, gaudy lobby to match. I think they're going to have the post-ceremony show over there. They're using a compact stage, I see. Okay. Oh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power. But it looks like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. A little samurai post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Ow, you didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We're asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please stay where you are. There's a special request from the police. Police? Did they just say the police? Do you want me to go check out what's going on? Um, wait. I'll come with you. Freeze! You two, didn't you hear the announcement just now? That has to be gumshoe, right? Just finished telling you not to move. That that voice. I've heard that voice somewhere before. Oh. Who the fuck is this? Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered listening to other people when they when they talk. Who is this? Oh God. Oh no. This is non-stop chatter. It can't be Miss Old Bag. What is it, you young whipper snappers? Do I know you? Wait, you! You're powers, aren't you? Yeah, um, about what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing that children's exercise program, trying to play nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show, and you're a hoot. You're the big brother character, right? Yeah, she went to face covered by a mask. I know, what a work of art, but it no, I mean, uh, who knows how many TVs you'd break? Really, it's shame on those kids. They're getting what they deserve. This is what I, um, what are you doing here?
Look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell. Remember security. Are you, yeah, okay. But that outfit. Annoying nosy brats get the blaster. It's all bag. What are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place? Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they cut the security team, I got the pink slip. What incident? What'd you do? I didn't do anything, you youngin. Don't you remember that incident a year ago? This lady got on the witness stand and testified. Yeah. That's retaliation. That's... She... Probably has a cause of action for retaliation. And you, weren't you the one who was bullying me, this fragile girl at heart? Um, I plead the fifth. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed the upper meds the wrong way by testifying. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is your fault. Me? Thought about being a bodyguard at first after being handed old Pinky. You, a bodyguard? What a friend, that very good looking guy with the red jacket and ruffles. Mr. Edgeworth? What? That sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What do I ever do to deserve that? Um, so did something happen? I don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. An incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. You see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake? Science, whoever snapper! Hey, Nick! What is it? I don't like that devilish smile you playing on your lips. Let's make like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. No way. The police told us not to go anywhere, remember? Huh? How B-O-R-I-N-G? You're such a boring guy. You've got no motivation, no spirit. Huh? What? What's going on? Are you giving Mystic Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? Not you too, Pearls. Please, don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. This one time at lawyer camp, Nick. Okay, okay, I get it. Let's go take a look. Was that... That wasn't an American Pie reference, was it? Yeah, I know you couldn't say no to me, Nick. You're right. You'd walk over miles of hot coals for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we work a case together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go already. You can come along too, Pearly. Goody, I get to come. I get to come. That actually sounds like a horrendous idea. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for... The incident that the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we'd better go look somewhere else. All right, then let's try. Excuse me. Ah! Oh, that is not the same. Wait. Is he actually Frankenstein's monster? What is that stitching across his face? What's that supposed to be? Other than he got his head chopped in half and they had to stitch it back together. Oh my. Um, well, that's not suspicious at all. I don't even know what, <laughs> are you by chance, Miss Maya, Miss Maya Faye? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Kirin Village. What's wrong, Miss Sigmaia? No, nothing. You guys go on ahead and I'll be right there, okay? Okay. Right this way, Miss Faye. Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. I told you. I give people the info they want, which means that I've got a right to know. Nope, don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. What's your problem? Just you wait, I'll be all, it'll be all over the new, the morning paper. Okay, who is this? Scuffing the, scruffy, scruffy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see, I'll get you back. Let's do something pretty serious. Oh, that's fucking, I'm an idiot. That's, I should have realized it was her. It's on an accident, can only mean. Hey, right. Hey, Lada. Come on, do a gal a favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rights. Ah, you. Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her that only the police are allowed here. This is the scene of a murder, so she should leave this to us pros. A murder? 
Oh shoot, me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said. And that's what it is, a genuine murder. Hey, wait. Yeehaw, murder of a big star, no less. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. So, Detective Gumshoe, a murder, you say? Ah, oh, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Ah, uh, Mr. Nick, is a dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Miss Sigmaya was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. What? The guy that died was this hero named the Jammin' Ninja, pal. Jammin' Ninja? Oh, that woman with the big puffy hair looks like cotton candy. That looks like cotton candy. You mean Lada? That woman, she was there that time too, right? That time? Mystic Maya did that channeling. Yeah, you should have fucking known what she was talking about, Nick, you insensitive prick. Oh, that time. You, oh, that time. Well, Lada's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist. Looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, hiding in wait in front of Jammy Ninja's door, pal. But why would she? She wouldn't tell me. Just said something about getting my big scoop. Scoop? What sort of news she could be after? So the victim was the Jammin' Ninja? Mr. Jammin' Ninja? He was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh! The victim was the action star, Juan Corda. He had a huge push and rode the express train to start him. I mean, even I know who he is. Yeah, even I recognize his face. But I heard that mad on guard's been uh, taking the wind out of his sail. I'm telling you, pal, as far as who's popular, those two are hogging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh? Poor guy. Mr. On Guard, uh, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yep. I mean, no. No, you gotta, you gotta say it with me with more umph. The Nickel Samurai. Anyway, so now that Juan Carrera's court is gone, that means Mr. On Guard has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. We can't have that happen, you know? Can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Look at the samurai, he really took the Grand Prix tonight. Maya's a big fan of this. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Matt on guard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Juan Corda. What? I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything. But I know who Juan Corda and Matt on guard are. Can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time. So they have this real fury rival with each other. Kinda like you and me, pal. I never really thought of me as a rival. It doesn't make sense, actually. Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We have started the investigation, so we don't have any leaks. Looks like getting another Steel Samurai hero is in hot water. Uh, Mr. Nick, if Mr. Maya knew about this... Yeah, I know. She'd make me take this case, I know. Hey, so what's going on, Mr. Wright? Looks like Juan Corda has been killed. What? Juan is... he's... Looks like he was murdered, and a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt on guard. You're joking, right? Do I look like I'm a funny man to you? They arrested the Nickel Samurai in suspicion of murdering the Jamming Ninja. Oh, not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe... No way. No way, Matt would. What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? It's a fucking walkie-talkie. Oh, before I forget, this is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the billboy that came by earlier. Radio transceiver. For me? But why? I don't know. All he said was it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. Mr. Ungar was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. That's what I had tickets for. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai's? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. He's going to be in costume, but why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. Not, not she mentions it. Maya's only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. I'll take a quick look around for her. No, don't let this fucking child. Oh my God. Okay. I guess we're just going to let that child wander around. Ah! Oh, thank God. What is it, Mr. Nick? Uh, I'm not sure. It's coming from the transceiver. Yes, hello, right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. 
I think you have wait. I think you have other things. <laughs> you have to do like the 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 deep throw thing, right? Like. <laughs> I think you have other things to be concerned with to be concerned yourself with such as Help Nick Mystic Maya Holy shit Maya So Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree that more important this is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does he mean that what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. This, no, this can't be. No that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney. I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again, your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. That's not fancy, that's just something. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. My oh, that's so sad. I'm more sad for a pearl than I have my <laughs> my sight. Everything's fading away. Maya, Maya has been kidnapped. You do there, Mr. Attorney? Are you there? How much? How much do you want? <laughs> Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a grasp of the si a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and state your conditions, and then return Maya. Money is not what I see. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need? I am not the person you will be representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. One corridor was killed and the suspect is mad on guard. You are as expected quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Mad on guard. Mad on guard? But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However... H however However what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to take my uh, take me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me in my possession. Help! Nick! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight, he will be in questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. One? You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you, so don't let me down. I need one of those voice modulizer things. Ugh. Oh, yes, that's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say. And don't even think about calling the cops. <laughs> Not great, but you get the idea. Damn it! Who, who the hell are you? <laughs> Very well, I'll tell you that much. My name is the Killer. This is man, Mr. Nick. Where is Mystic Maya? Well, Pearl, she was kidnapped, and she might die if I don't do. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying that, but I'm gonna say it anyway. She's been kidnapped. No, it's all my fault. Only a guy with Mystic Maya. Then you both be kidnapped. Not your fault, Pearls. It is, it is, Mr. Maya. Wah! Mr. Wright, I think we, I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do, who knows what'll happen to Maya? Mr. Nick, what was the detective we saw earlier? Yeah, look at that face. Think he's gonna get us what we need? Detective Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Wait here, and I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. I have these claws that come out. Of, never mind. What? Ransom. That's so loud. The ransom is complete acquittal for Madden Guard. Wait, Adele is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya? You mean. Then this means Madden Guard is obviously the killer, pal. No doubt about it. But the guy said that Mr. Unguard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. If Unguard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of everything else, there's all the evidence we keep finding. Huh? Forensic seems having a field day back there. Um. But it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. 
There's too much evidence? Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say that Engard is being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Great. Just in tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. All right. Is there another way? You've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Question mark? Oh, my, my head. Are we going to see things from her point of view? Interesting. <gasps> well, if you're going to keep me locked up anywhere for ransom, a wine cellar is a pretty good location. Where, where am I? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. What happened to me? Nick, Pearly. Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. Click, click. Of course, it was the dude with the stitching down the middle of his face. Our shoe are broken. Ah, uh, wh who, who are you? Me. I'm known as the killer. The killer? You mean like an assassin? I, I'm too young to die. Don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyway. Ah, Nick, Nick, where are you? Help me. Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now. And that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? Nick? Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. A business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your shined role very well. Uh, shined role well. Very well. Very well. Not just well, very well. Nick, what's going to happen to me? Nick, Pearly, sis. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to concern yourself with. He wouldn't have, you wouldn't hear the voice modulation on his side. Well, actually, I guess you would. A little bit, right? Unless he, unless it's through the phone itself. Then you wouldn't. You just hear his normal voice. Good morning! Ah, oh, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick! Come on, let's hurry and go see Mr. Unguard! We have to wait a bit, Pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m. or so. Oh, I see. Uh, Missing Maya, if only, if only I'd gone with you. Poor Pearl, she's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow, yesterday, yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her. Oh, I see. Her being hysterical and not wanting to leave. That makes sense. But, the, but by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick, Missing Maya, she's all right, all right? Yeah, she's all right. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected because Pearls is doing the crying for the both of us. <sighs> we couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the Jammin' Ninja. He's a little too happy about what's going on. He's just like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yep, that's me. <clears throat> All right. Good morning. How are you today? I know the situation might be a little tough for you. Um, weird. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> that's definitely it, right? I already signed up. Excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, well, <laughs> you know. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not life and we're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building isn't my house, so. No, no, no. We're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? Hold on a sec. I'm going to ask my manager, okay? Why does he... Why is he allowed to have that? Oh, man, man. This crazy guy. He's just a lawyer. Should I tell him? I don't know. Should I tell him to fuck off? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Nicholas Avery sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Oh, sorry about that. You're just in time, huh? You're a lawyer, dude, right? 
My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Mr. Nick, this is our chance! I have to make him let me take his case. I have to. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Um, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography's coming out soon, so... If I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm gonna be in real hot water. Oh my god. Hold on a second, I'm gonna ask my publisher, okay? So this fucking guy keeps asking me. It's okay if I tell him in person information. I... Yeah, I don't know, you might go and blab, I'm not... I mean, he, he doesn't look like he has a Facebook, to be honest. I'm, or an Insta, he probably doesn't even know what Instagram is. Mr. Angard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. In jail! I don't actually, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Oh, sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? Mr. Angard, I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid as a side job, dude? Um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, no, no. I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Oh, God. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Hey, president, this guy's asking me to tell him about the murder. He's an attorney, but I mean, like, I don't know. That Would that really be helpful? Is he all right, Mr. Nick? No. No, he's not. I'm talking about... Mr. Ungard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. Studio president said, even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, uh, Mr. Nick, what's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Tokyo, the city the Nickel Samurai protects. Man, it's too bad he's dead. You've killed him, that's the most logical, logical conclusion, don't you agree? Dude, what are you talking about? You're making a huge mistake. That's such a mistake, then why did they issue an arrest warrant for you? Who are you even calling? I'm gonna ask the guy in charge of this place, okay? Hey, can I talk to the guy in charge of this place? Star Show no sure know a lot of people, don't they? Yeah, to be able to get his phone in with him. Remember when they took Maya's phone away in chapter two of the first game because you would never be allowed to have that with you? I wonder if that phone even really gets reception in here. Um, I guess you're right about the warn after all. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we might have been making we might be making some progress here. This? Mr. Nick, what are you going to do with that? I don't know yet, but I figure I can at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one too. I got it as a present from someone. Hmm? Interesting. He doesn't care at all. Oh yeah, real interesting. No 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 no. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? <laughs> yes, that's what the transceiver told me. Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You were going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes, while well, you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. He didn't know. That's odd. He didn't even let's hear it from somebody? Really? Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. I'm gonna go hit the whole dusty trail. Please wait, I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Nick represent you. Man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you dudes use kids to pull in clients too. If you don't take me as a lawyer, then the killer's going to... Wait, what did you just say? The killer. The killer? What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. All right, dude, I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it, we did it, Mr. Nick. Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it. He doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead and ask me anything. I'll help out as much as I can. You mean, you'll help yourself out as much as you possibly can? Good lord. This dude. Man, I think my lucky stars that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. 
Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Oh my god, that's such a cute question. <laughs> no, bro, relax. You're fine. Oh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep on getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. I guess Mr. Ungard has a way of catching the eyes of women. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I go out, get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, all right? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed that it was kind of noisy. Mr. Corda was already dead at that time? Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that guy can't do a thing on his own. That's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. Not you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corda. What sort of, that's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell me he's the same age as me. You can't even tell he's the same age as me. He wanted to try to make a Jam and Ninja movie, even though we all knew it'd fail. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. Why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you think it'd be the other way around, you know? It's true. Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly? Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's costume. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants, or Hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone's planted it there, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess it's about all I'm gonna get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. Ingar to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that? Yes, you dumb idiot used what you've been using the entire- Oh, God. Why is Mag Magatama? You won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. Ungard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Corda? Uh, hold on, I need to... Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. All right, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corda, okay? Oh, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or a lock in sight. That might be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Which means it's alright to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. 